Let's try turning runners into leaves. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her, and I've been growing this beautiful little obliqua for a while now. This is footage from December last year, where it looked still really, really nice. It was growing well. It was one growth point with leaves, but unfortunately that turned into a runner. So let's hop back to March when I started this video. My beautiful Monstera obliqua Peru was growing really well until it started growing a runner as they're called and the runner is continuing to run away from growing leaves. From what I understand in nature they grow these runners to grow over the ground to find the next good fertile, I don't know, happy spot for them to start growing leaves and roots again. So I tried to tie this up with some moss around a moss pole, sometimes that helps. But as you can see, I did that several times, it did not help. So we're going to try something else. Maybe I think we're gonna circle it on the soil to see if that helps it to root back down and grow new leaves again, because this is just a shame. It was such a beautiful plant and now it looks just weird. I think it did root into this one, so that's pretty good. I used these pins to keep the plant up straight when it was still very small. I'm now gonna use them to push the runner into the soil, into the moss, ton of live moss on this plant. So hopefully it likes that to continue growing in. Come on, buddy, please. Some water with fertilizer and I'll be back with an update soon. Seven weeks later. Monstera obliqua that since has grown a sh long runner. Let me show you the whole thing because it's a bit ridiculous. Oh, I think it's rooted. So what I try to do with the runner is move it around the pot so that it would root and then hopefully start to grow leaves again, which has not happened. But it has grown some roots. I feel it being connected to the moss, meaning we can chop. See how long this runner is? I don't even know if it wants to focus on it, but here. And there is some roots here and here. The thing that I've learned with Monstera Obliqua, I grew this whole thing from a one node anyway, so I'm not that scared of chopping it. I might leave this, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is one node. I can chop this all the way back. We can try and propagate these nodes, but I know plenty of people now have it. It's not really like anyone will pay a lot of money for it anymore. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave this on because this has roots already on this part and then hopefully this will grow. Let me just chop these into nodes. This is what it looks like now, a little layer of moss. The way I got these unrooted runner nodes to grow is in a little pot. We have lek at the bottom, moss at the top, and throw the nodes in. Good luck. Four weeks later. Obliqua update. There are a lot of points growing. We'll have to see which ones turn into runners again. Two months later. My boyfriend is working outside, but I have an update for you. Look at the obliqua. I cut up the runner. It did grow another runner that has some roots, but a lot of the pieces are growing. There's a little baby here and here. Those are all separate plants. There's about three or four growing from this base. And they either all have one leaf like this one, or they're growing their second leaf already like this one. And this one's standing up more. It's so cute. There's still some old leaves here as well that are crispy and yellowing, but that's totally okay because we have a whole bunch of new leaves. I am so excited it's going well. I tried to loop this runner around on the soil and I'll see what happens there. The node cuttings that I put in the little storage container are not growing yet. They are growing now though. It's two months later and look at the little babies. All three of them actually I think have started to grow. See, the, even the smallest one has a little leaf. And I didn't do anything with this since I potted them in here in May. So it's super low uh, effort, <laughs> low work but it works really well. And now that they have leaves and started to grow a little bit too tall for the pot, I'm gonna take them out. Actually, one of my friends said she's interested in growing one. So I'm gonna share them and 
put something else in a pot because this has been literally the same moss even in this pot for years since I got that first note that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And then let me show you the mother plant because there are two things happening. We have another runner, <laughs> which I think is the one that I rounded on the soil that was already a runner, but a little bit rooted. It just continued running. And even here you can see it's looped around maybe like three or even four times plus this part. So just rooting a runner and then popping it on the soil doesn't always work, but <laughs> the rest of it does look amazing. Let's start at the smallest one. We have a little plant that's growing down here. Adorable, the second leaf is on the way. And then the ones that I showed you already, oh wait, there's more, wait, wait. On this side, these three leaves are one plant, the third is on the way. There is another, it's hard to show you because there's so many on a small spot. Maybe I planted them too close together because this, this is a lot, but oh, brown leaf, beautiful, even in death. Also, I've been <laughs> doing my nails and it's really fun to see the upgrades throughout this video. <laughs> but these are the main plants. So we see here, this one is growing to the side and I am a little bit worried that this is turning into a runner because there's still a very nice leaf here. There's lots of fenestrations actually. There's like secondary holes in here. It looks very, very cool. But I think I need to put this on a pole in order to keep it growing leaves. At least that's my feeling about it. And then there's, yeah, there's so many plants here. So many new leaves. This is a really nice one as well. It looks very typical. Obliqua with all the holes. It's more whole than, even here there's like, a then leaf, finish your sentences. There's a little hole here on the side of the big hole that's just so thin. All the connection pieces are super, super thin, like hair thin. It's hard to even show you. I'll try and put some close-ups over. I'm really happy with the result. This is a super full bushy plant now and we have the beautiful leaves again. It does need some care. Maybe I'll give it a moss pole to just support all the stems so they continue growing leaves instead of something else. Ooh, stuck in itself. Just helping this one out a little bit. And of course we have the runner again. I don't know if I'm gonna chop it up again because how many obliquas do you need as one person with limited <laughs> friends who still want this plant? But I'm happy I made this video just for myself as well to capture the process and to see that it does work and that this plant can look amazing. Just needs some care again and I don't really have time because I need to edit this video. I'm filming this today, the day that this video is going live. But hopefully I will make it work and if not, I know what to do to get it to grow again. It's a pretty short video today. That is on purpose. I've been super busy with filming yoga for TV and then recovering from that basically. So I'm gonna do my best again to restart the renovation series, which I am working on, but also because of the filming for TV, I had to just pause those videos a little bit to help my brain deal with everything. We filmed seven yoga classes in one day and hopefully they're gonna be out pretty soon. If you don't know, I teach yoga on TV now, national TV here in the Netherlands. You can watch our classes in Dutch via Zentijd, either on MPO Start or on TV, MPO 2, every morning at 9.30 a.m. after Nederland in Beweging. <laughs> if you're a Dutchie, you'll know that show. So yeah, sorry, it's a short video. I did film a repot and answering all your questions, but that is one and a half hours of footage that I need to edit, so that's gonna take a little bit longer, as always. If you have any questions about this runner process or anything else, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and leave a nice comment. And you can join my Patreon and YouTube membership as well for more content and a monthly Zoom call together. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, if you have any tips for cool nail polishes, this one is by Cadillacer, a brand from Switzerland. So a little bit closer to me than most brands that are from America. If you have tips for embroidery, which I'm doing a lot right now, <laughs> it's really fall vibes over here. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you again soon with hopefully another longer video. Bye friends.